Hello, welcome everyone to another edition of math with me and my cat. Today we're going to be learning about subtracting integers. Last class we talked about adding integers. Now remember when you hear the word integers, don't get scared. It's just any positive or negative whole number. So all of the numbers on this whole, on this number line right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as well as 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so forth, are all integers because they're whole numbers and they're positive or they're negative or they're zero. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So last class we talked about adding integers and that was, I showed you use the number line. First you put the first term by putting a dot where it is on the first term, say it's negative five, and then you move it to the right however many spaces if it's a positive number that you're adding or if you're adding a negative number then you move it to the left. If you remember how to do that, then subtracting will be easy. The reason being, we're just going to change our subtraction into addition, and then you already know how to do addition, so there you go. So I'll show you how to change it into addition. So you need to add the first term <coughs> to the opposite of the second term. So just a quick reminder of what is opposite. So the opposite of three is negative three, the opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5. Remember the opposites are e equidistant. They're equally far, equally distant from 0. So 3 is 3 spaces from 0, and negative 3 is also 3 spaces from 0. That's why opposites cancel each other out. So this will tie into how we can subtract integers. So for 2 minus 4, you can do it by putting the first term in and then now you can change it into an addition by adding it to the opposite. So this is a 4. The opposite of 4 would be negative 4. So we've changed it to addition by just making the 4 into a negative 4. Okay. In the same way, let's put this one. We've got 2 minus this time. We're going to change it into an addition by making the negative 4 into the opposite. And the opposite of negative 4 is plus 4. For this one, we have a negative 3. Don't worry about that. Just keep it there. Change the subtraction into addition by changing the second term to its opposite. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. So we put minus 3 plus minus 5. And in the final one, don't get scared. There's a lot of minus signs, but that's okay. Just recopy the negative 3. And the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. So change it to an addition by writing plus positive 5. Or you could just write negative 3 plus 5. Okay, now you know how to do it by placing it onto the number line. So let's put them all into the number line. Let's do 1 in green. So number one is two plus minus four. So let's start with two here. We'll put plot two right here. And since we're adding cold, we're moving to the left four spaces. So let's move four spaces. One, two, three, four. And we end up right here at negative two. So two minus four or two plus negative four is negative two. Let's use red I believe. I can't tell with the nocturnal colors for two. And again we'll start at two here. We'll plot it at two and since we're going to a plus four, you don't even have to plot this, you know that two plus four is six. Let's go to our code brown for three. For three, we're going to start at negative three. So we'll plot our code brown at negative three. And then we're adding cold. We're adding a minus five. So we're going to move to the left. One, two, three, four, five spaces. And that leads us to negative eight. And for the final one, let's use blue. I think that color is. And again, we're going to start at minus 3 this time. We'll plot at minus 3. But this time, we're adding 5, and it's a plus 5, so we're going to move to the right. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5. And that takes us to 2, plus 2, positive 2. So the answer of number 4 is plus 2, because negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Or you could also think negative 3 minus negative 5 is 2. Okay, hope that makes sense to you. You can watch it again if you wish. Um, you can go through the practice problems. This is one way to do the subtracting integers. I will show you other ways further on. But as you see it on number line, that's the best way to visualize how the numbers are working. Okay, so feel free to say bye now. Otherwise, you can stick around and you can see me draw a cheeseburger doing the floss. You can also leave now. You can start your work. Because this will probably not turn out well. He's got, he's doing that. No, he's, he's like, oh no, I have to draw some cheese. Cheese in yellow. Here's the cheese. This is a veggie burger because I like vegetables. And y'all do too, right? Feel free to leave anytime and get started on your work. Oh, I don't even know how to do the floss. You know, you, I, I guess the floss is probably outdated. Oh man, his feet look really angry. Okay, there's my cheeseburger. He's of course smiley and he is doing some kind of dance move, maybe to Ghostbusters. How about that? Those look like code brown, so I'm gonna stop there. Thanks so much for your time. Again, feel free to watch this video again and rewind to thoughts that you don't get. All you need to do is change the subtraction into addition, and then you're good. Bye.